Okay. Walking over to see the cats. I want a block and a half. Some lady conked me with an umbrella. Just wasn't looking, just swinging it around. Hit me in the top of the head with it. And then I walked another quarter of a block. And uh, I should have had the camera on. I should always have the camera on. Walked another quarter of a block across the light with a bunch of Filipinos on the green, on our green. And the cars running the red would not stop. I would guess 15 or 18 cars kept going probably 10 seconds into the red. And all the Filipinos had to jump out of the way. You just wonder what the hell kind of society this is. I mean, I traffic in Vietnam is crazy. They don't do that. Traffic in Cambodia is crazy. They don't do that. At least they don't do it at every single light change at every single intersection. Shit. God dang it. I'll be glad to leave. I'm sorry. I'll be glad to leave. Two years. That's enough. I have the exact same feeling here now that I did when I lived here 10 years ago. There's only one thing on my mind, and that is get out. Just get out. I watched a uh, video today. It was an interview with a high-level, uh, quote-unquote, immigration official. And uh, the interviewer... Hello, hello. ...was uh, asking him... But what about the uh, these guys who come and they put down twenty thousand dollars U.S. on SS, S, I'm sorry, SRRV visa, it's a permanent visa. And then after a year or two, they decide they don't like it, they want to leave. And they go ask for their money back. How much of that money are they going to get back? The immigration guy gets this little smirk on his face, chuckles, and he says, "Well, you know." probably not going to get it all back. Now, I personally have known five guys, three guys ten years ago and two guys now, who haven't got one penny back ever, and they never will. So, that's the story with the SRRV. Lots of expats will tell you, well, that, that's you just consider that's non-refundable. You know, you're going to pay ten dollar. I'm sorry, a twenty thousand dollar ticket price, non-refundable, to live in the Philippines. Well, is the Philippines worth twenty grand non-refundable ticket price? No, hundred dollars, maybe, a couple hundred, maybe. Not twenty grand. No, sorry, no. It's not even remotely worth it. So. Uh, my decision is made. I will not retire in the Philippines. It, it's little by little by little it has come to this. <clears throat> and now it's cemented in stone. So, making arrangements to get out. I've still got a damn business project I've got to deal with. Could take as much as a year. God dang it like to find a way to get the hell out of that thing. I committed to it. Hi, oh, God. So we'll look for cats. We'll look for cats and play with cats. Uh-oh. I see one. I see one. And she spied me already. She recognized me. Hey, Quill. How are you? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, let's sit down. I only have... A tiny snack because I'm stupid and I forgot I forgot the big container of food that I brought you I left it on the counter maybe the guards will let me take you up there to eat it what do you think I think no okay don't touch the camera because you always like to touch the camera okay Quill okay good kitty I haven't seen you for a week okay here you go make any trouble. Now, do I have to scruff you? Or have you grown up to be a lady? 
<laughs> here. There you go. No, don't bite it. No, quilt. Oh, we're going to go through this for your whole life, I can see. You're going to bite that thing. <laughs> what flavor is that? That's tuna. Okay. Here you go. Don't bite it. No, 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 you don't bite. Look, no, look, well, look, 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 turn here so that, so your audience can see that you're a biter. <laughs> okay, look, we're going to do it quickly because I don't want to scruff you for too long. Yeah, that, that may be a little better. I think you had a little bit of food today, huh? Because you're not ravenous. Okay, scruffing, scruffing, scruffing. <laughs> Oh, you are a crazy, crazy cat. Yeah, there I'm barely scruffing you now. See, she's learning a little bit. Here. No. Oh, did you drop it? Okay. Okay, I have more. Okay, there's... Yeah, see, there's no reason to bite. No reason to bite. You just... I bet Mommy really hated that. I bet you... Maybe that's why you got dropped off. <laughs> I don't know, Quill. Okay, I think we're about, we're at the end, we're at the end. Yeah, it's gone, it's done. Oh, here, you can lick, lick that off. Yeah, no, there's more, there's more. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, where's your little friend? Uh, where's your little, your little kitten friend today? I hope she didn't get squished already. Maybe somebody took her. Yeah, maybe they took her to the kennel, I hope, because she was kind of too little to be out here. Yeah, okay, good kitty. Oh yeah, I missed you very much, Quill. Very, very much. Yeah. Okay, good kitty. Now you have some tuna in your belly. Yeah, it's like caffeine for you. Oh, good kitty. Good kitty. Here, you can look in the mirror if we change this. You can, you can see. No, wait a minute. Maybe. Where's Quill? There's Quill. There. You can look in the mirror and see yourself. Yeah, you can fix your hair, put it on your makeup. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. That's really you. Oh, you're feisty, you want to play. You know, I'm scared you'll bite me. You know, you're a rough and ready street cat. I don't trust you. <clears throat> when you were a kitten, you couldn't bite very hard, but I think now you can, because you had some fights. Good kitty, yes, I know. <clears throat> Maybe I can take you to America. If I can, I will. Maybe. Maybe you go live on a boat. We go around the world.
see my friend. Tomorrow I bring you really, really good expensive food. I try not to be stupid tomorrow. Three blocks to get here. I'm just dripping in sweat. Just dripping. It's a nice breeze. Humidity's not too high, but I'm still just dripping. Jesus. God dang it. It's Saturday, so every single cafe and restaurant will be jammed. Probably got a queue to get in, which means I'm not going to be able to go sit down in the air conditioning and eat anything sucks. <coughs> oh, a nice head cold from the typhoon probably. You can kind of gauge a cat by how much food it's getting if it's getting plenty of food, it has time and energy to groom. As the food intake goes down, grooming becomes goes on the back burner. It's not worth the effort. But oh, beautiful cat laying on the beach in the bikini. Yes, lovely cat. Funny, I've mentioned before that we had that encounter. She was really timid and shy. She was a newbie. She was small, and everybody beat her up to get her food. And uh, I had her on my lap one day, uh, feeding her, and the big bully cat came, the one we called Biter. And Biter swiped at her, just, uh, just for the hell of it. And I swiped at the Biter. And, and connected and, and swatted her pretty good. And I, I think it stung a little bit. And uh, <laughs> the biter, everything happened so fast, the biter never figured out that I did it. The biter thought that Quill did it. And ever since then, the biter is completely deferential to Quill, even though Quill's young and, and kind of still a kitten. And the, the biter stands back and lets her eat now. <laughs> and Quill has taken that to heart. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm the man, I'm the girl, I'm the queen now. And I guess she's she's top of the food chain here now just because, because of that mistaken swat. <laughs> it's hilarious. So since she, since, she, since she gained the confidence of that, she has taken it to heart and she has now she stands up for herself because she thinks that everybody's scared of her it's just hilarious and quill never never laid a glove on on the bully cat you know it is, i wish i had that wait a minute i do i do i do have that on tape i do have that recorded <laughs> oh geez if it isn't posted already i'll try to find it and post it but to see the change in Quill after that had been pretty amazing. Completely different cat. In in that moment, she became... Well, not, not in that moment, because Quill didn't understand what happened either. Quill didn't figure out the bonus she got out of, that, out of that until later when the bully cat uh, was scared of her. And Quill probably... I didn't see that exchange, the first exchange, but... Quill probably was like, what, what, what the hell, what the hell? And then little by little she figured out that the bully cat was scared of her and she just, she just took it. She's like, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Changed her whole personality. <laughs> <laughs> 